All inside ACL reconstruction using GraftLink is a minimally invasive technique designed to reconstruct a torn anterior cruciate ligament of the knee. If the ACL is not reconstructed, meniscal tears and arthritis may occur in the knee. The surgeon begins by flexing the knee and placing a drill guide through a small incision in the front of the knee. The guide is placed in the center of the area where the original ACL attached to the thigh bone or femur. A special pin called a flip cutter is drilled through the bone and into the joint. Part of the drill guide is tapped into the bone with a mallet to facilitate drilling. By pushing a button on the flip cutter, the tip is rotated into a cutting position. The flip cutter is then drilled back into the bone to create a socket where the graft will eventually be placed. The flip cutter is drilled until it hits the guide, preventing overdrilling. The flip cutter is removed and a suture is passed into the joint and out of the skin for later graft passing. Using the flip cutter again, a socket is then drilled in the area of the ACL attachment to the leg bone, or tibia. A suture is also passed into the joint and out of the skin for tibial graft passing. The femoral suture is then used to pass the graftling construct, which consists of two tightrope implants and a single graft sewn into a loop or link. The femoral tightrope implant is passed until the button exits the bone and is fixated against the femur. The surgeon then pulls the white sutures, which hoists the graft into the femoral socket for an exact fit. The tibial end of the graft is passed in similar fashion, and the white sutures are pulled to adjust the graft into the tibial socket. The adjustable tightrope implants allow the surgeon to optimize the fit of the graft into the femur and tibia and achieve appropriate tensioning. The graft is now secured into place until it heals to the bone.